Well, I think we obviously we want the business to, to carry on. Um, so there's no intention to sell it. There's no need to sell it, really. So you know, I think we've just got to carry on doing what we're doing. But you've got to be always mindful of what's going on in the, you know, in the marketplace. I mean, we focus on the B2B sector and we've kept out of education, we've kept out of healthcare <coughs> and focused on B2B. So I think as long as we can stay relevant, um, and I think you've just got to focus on that. The, you've got to really make sure you de deliver a great service to the customer, that the staff are properly trained, and that we pay them the most we can afford, not the least we can get away with. So we're not into this minimum wage, living wage. And I think as long as we can carry on doing that, and you know, we don't make any fatal mistakes really following that, that you know a fad. Because it's very easy to you know to get into fads, whereas you've got to look and say, well. There's got to be a rock-solid reason to do this, and you know you don't want to bet the ranch on anything. Uh, no, I think if we carry on doing what we're doing, but yeah, just look at look at what's going on, look at what opportunities. I think visiting some of the ex exhibitions, and not just here. You know, I mean, we wouldn't have been in the market market business if we didn't go to an armor show. Um, <clears throat> Seen quite a few things in Japan and China. Some of some won't move. Some won't translate. Some will. So, I think you have to, you have to just keep an open mind about things. And uh, but, but at the end of the day, you really, you know, you don't want to put everything on the, you know, the fifty to one outside that will ramp it on a, on a miserable day in December. Do you? That's the last thing that you want to do. So, yeah, you've got to stay relevant. And uh, but most of all, you've got to deliver great service. And people people do value that. Yeah.